And so in this note, I just want to give you an example of our daughters, because this is an important subject, something I've been talking about recently, and I feel it's critical in, along these lines. Trend setting and what, it, what effect it's had, happening on Muslim girls, on our daughters. There's a crisis in the Muslim community when it comes to our daughters. A crisis of self-esteem. A crisis of self-esteem. We're already a different culture. Before 9-11, we're already a very different tradition than regular Western society. We're very different in many ways, especially in the way we dress. Especially in the, in the, in the you know, commitment we have to modesty. After 9-11, it's been 10, 10 years now, and the hatred and the animosity and the, 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 the spiteful language that spews out of people's mouths about Islam has increased tenfold, if not a hundredfold. So it was already difficult to follow, and now it's become something everybody hates. And in the middle of all of that is our daughters that go to public school. Even if they go to Islamic school, doesn't even matter. Then they go to college, and they're covering themselves. And they see girls dressed however they're dressed, and a thought runs in the mind of a young Muslim girl. Why can't I dress like that? Man, anything fun is haram. She looks so pretty. Why can't I look pretty? Why can't I be like that? That thought crosses her mind. She's afraid to say it, but it crosses her mind. And she's always thinking about it. And she's depressed. I look ugly because of this thing. People make fun of me. You know, why are we such, such backwards, such a backward society? I don't even know why I have to wear it. That's a serious problem. That's trend setting inside, even if it's not outside. That's a, inside, it's a bigger problem. The heart is now submitted to what is rebellion to Allah. This only happens when we don't give our sons, and especially our daughters, enough self-esteem. Where does self-esteem come from? This is the last thing I'll share with you. Because this, this problem of following trends in society is a big one, but probably the biggest component of that is saving our children. Saving our children from becoming swept away with the flood. So this is the last bit I want to share with you. And that is we have to acknowledge, fathers especially, have to spend time with their daughters. Fathers have to encourage their daughters. Fathers have to appreciate their daughters. Fathers have to tell their daughters they look beautiful. So they don't have to look for that from some idiot on Facebook. They don't have to do that. Because their fathers are telling them that. They get that, you, you're, you know the kind of self-confidence a girl gets from her dad is irreplaceable. Not even the mother. Mother's critical, but not when it comes to this. When it comes to the acknowledgement of a father. When is the last time you talked to your daughter? With those of you that have daughters actually had a conversation with her. You know, our daughters, I, have, I, I brought two of my four daughters with me on this trip. Girls talk a lot. They talk a lot. They never run out of things to say. Which is why for, for men, a lot of times, as the, the moment you hear them, oh, okay, 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 yeah, 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 that, that's nice, that's nice, and you don't really listen. <laughs> right? Listen to your daughters, talk to them. Because if you're ignoring them now, when they get older, they'll be ignoring you. They will be ignoring you. It doesn't matter if they're talking about hair clips, or what their friends said at school, or what coloring projects they were doing, or where they visited, or what show they... Whatever, talk to them. Communicate with them. They need that from you. You, you need to play that role as a father. We, we cannot allow our children to fall into that, you know, get swept away into that culture. We can't. So this is one you know, last bit of advice that I really, really wanted to share with you. Because if we don't do that, Wallahi, I'm telling you, if we don't do that, we are cheating our daughters from a proper raising. Follow the way of Ibrahim. And you know what the way of Ibrahim is, right? Didn't follow anybody else. <laughs> Everybody's worshipping idols, now I'm going to break them. Everybody's going this way, he's going to go that way. He's going to go the way Allah wants him to go. That's the trend to follow.